Hello friends, we are at the end of another month. I am blind. Not really, I just don't have my contacts in today and I couldn't be bothered to put them in. And my glasses were having some glare issues with the window because I didn't buy the antique glare ones. This is crazy. One month of 2016 is already pretty much over. I think it's like the 28th right now when I'm filming this, but it will probably go up on whatever the day is on Sunday. It might be already February, I don't know. But anyways, I have my monthly favorites. So I don't actually have like too, too much to show you this time. I know that the drugstore came out with like a ton of new stuff, but I'm broke. Like, even drugstore is expensive sometimes. So I do have a few of the new products that I have tried in here because I have liked the majority of what I've tried. But I don't have a ton of, like, new, new things. So anyways, I'm going to stop rambling and just get started. So to start, my absolute favorite of this month has been the Milani Prime Shield Face Primer. With the Madamize... Madamizing? That's a cool word. Mattifying and pore minimizing version. And I really like this mostly for the smoothing effect. Um, I will say right now that the mattifying properties are not like the best. So if you have like super, super oily skin, I probably would stay away from this because I have like moderately oily skin and I get a little oily, but it's kind of a different kind of oily. I don't know. Um, it kind of depends on the foundation I use with it too though, because if I use a matte foundation with this, I have absolutely no problem. But if I use kind of a glowier foundation than I do, but that's kind of to be expected. I have a full review on this, so I'm not going to talk you off about it. I will just link the video up there or somewhere and down there as well. Yay. Next, I have a foundation combination. Um, I really like to do new combinations of foundation because I have so many, and sometimes if I don't like one, I end up liking it when I combine it with something else, which... Um, this, I like both of these foundations on their own, but together I love them. So it is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation and the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I love these together because this is kind of a light to medium coverage. This one's more medium to full, and this color's a little too light on me. And like I just put them together and they mix beautifully and they just create like the best base. I don't have it on today. I have on the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation, but these two. I used them in a video, I think. No, I didn't. I filmed a video and then I was like, ooh, ooh, you know, when I watched it back. But I will use these in a video soon because I really, really like the combination because you kind of keep the glow of the Makeup Forever one while having some of the mattifying effects of the infallible one and it just like makes your skin look so nice without the cakiness because I find that this one can get a little cakey. It's just, it's just a great combination that I really enjoy and it's helping me use up two products instead of having one just like sit on my shelf. I should smile like this all the time. Right, and then the next thing also has to do with foundation. It is the, it's dirty because I use it like, you know, um, it is the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush and I bought this originally like to do um, contour and I do like it for contour but I don't contour like all that much. I usually just use like a stippling brush and like bronze a little bit. But this is so nice for foundation. Like it just like gets, it's like the best shape and it's like super dense and you can like get the, you know, the little eye area. You can use it for concealer too and it just like so soft and it's real technique so it's affordable and also has the 20% off coupon right now and I think they also have Real Techniques buy one get one 50% off so I would uh, head over there. I think I'm actually going to buy I want some of the Bold Metals collection so bad but it's so expensive but I think that I'm going to do it because 20% off and buy one get one 50% off so like it would be kind of cheap. I think I'm going to do it. They came out with like a new crease brush. I just want it so bad. Anyways, <laughs> Real Techniques this sculpting brush is super nice for foundation. Moving on to eyes, this is one of the newer things I've seen. I don't know how like new new it is, but I haven't seen it before. And it is the Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil. And I have it in the color Soft Nude. I will include swatches uh, like over this. 
but it is just so pretty it's like this soft nude color like it says with a little bit of shimmer in it but it reminds me a lot of the makeup forever aqua eyes eyeliner that i have and um any eyeliner honestly is going to wear off my eyes because i have crazy watery eyes but this one does last for a good amount of time i have it on right now um, i also like with the color what i like about these shimmery ones of the nude eyeliners is they don't look so like stark on your waterline like i have the rimmel uh like the new Rimmel one, and I like it, but since it's matte, I just feel like it's like very obvious that it's there, where with these it's a little bit less so, and I just have been really enjoying this one, and it was pretty cheap, and I, yeah. Next I have another eye product, which I've used since last, I got it at the end of the year, kind of last year, but I've really started experimenting with it more this month, and it is the Makeup Forever Artist Shadows Volume 1 and it's just these like shimmery bronzy shades and I originally didn't know how much I was gonna like it just because they're all shimmery but honestly it's like super fast to just throw like literally I can throw like one of these colors my favorite two are these two down here because I can just like throw them on and like blend it and it just looks like I spent a super long time on my eyeshadow when in reality I spent about three minutes so I have been enjoying that and makeup forever shadows are like the formula is so beautiful so I'd recommend checking this out because of the price point and uh, the quality I have got quite a few lip products two of them aren't like new new but they are ones I haven't tried before so they're new to me and they are these L'Oreal exclusive collection exclusive lipsticks. They're the ones in the matte black packaging, which is originally why I like picked it up because I was like, that's pretty. And um, I have them in two colors. I have the Julianne's Nude, which is a sort of pinky nude, which definitely looks better on me than the other one. That's what I have on right now. And I have the color Frida's Nude, which is a purplish nude, which I like to layer with the pink one. When I originally bought it, I thought it was going to be more opaque. So like, I thought, I don't know why, I don't know. I just thought it was gonna be matte. So I was thinking the purple would look good, but with shimmer, not so much, but layered together, they look beautiful. They're a more sheer formula, but I really like that because I've been looking for a lipstick that I don't have to think about throughout the day, which is hard when you like matte lipsticks like I do because it's like very obvious that you're wearing it. Whereas with this, I don't have to think about it once I put it on because if it fades, it's just going to fade to a nice like lighter pink or it will just kind of fade off. It's not going to smudge all over and like be very apparent on your face or anything. So I have just been really loving these and they're like super hydrating and just I'm a fan and each color is supposed to kind of like be the perfect nude for a certain person so if you look up the people that they are made at, like i know like jlo has one and like uh i should have looked up who like all of these are for but uh on the ads you can like see whose lipstick it is so you can kind of like compare your skin tone and then it should help you pick the one that is the best color for you and then next i have the l'oreal infallible pro matte gloss i tried this one and i tried the maybelline one and i want to do a comparison of them because they're very similar but i like the l'oreal one better i have it in the color i think this is nude elude yes and i just really like the formula of this it is not a liquid lipstick at all just know that it's not a liquid lipstick but it's it's just like a lipstick but it's like moisturizing and it's like a very nice like satiny finish i just really like it and it fades beautifully and it like stains your lips as it fades and i just really enjoy it i do not enjoy the smell but i enjoy the product this lip product i've been going lip product crazy i guess is the Vaseline Lip Therapy Rosy Lips Lip Balm. I think this has been out for like ever, but this is the first time I've seen it in like packaging that wasn't that weird, um, like that looks like a little container of Vaseline. Like I'm not gonna buy that. There's no way I'm carrying that around. It's like not practical. So when I saw it in the little tin, I decided to try it out and I love it. It's super moisturizing. 
smells good, adds a little bit of pink to your lips. I've been wearing this just plain some days and I like it more than my Smith's Rose one. So if you are in the market for a new chapstick lip balm situation, this is like $3.50 at Walgreens, so love. The last product I have today is a skincare product and it is the Neutrogena Light Night Cream. I've been using this for a couple of months now, but I didn't want to include it until I really knew how I felt about it and honestly I love it. It has lasted for a while. I've like made a dent but like there's still a lot left in here. The packaging is nice. I like that it's in a pot even though some people don't like that. I like it. It's the perfect amount of hydrating for a night cream but not too hydrating where you wake up with like a greasy face if you have oily skin. I just really like it and it doesn't clog my pores and it just is great. So this has been my January favorites for 2016 and that is scary to say because we all know how the years go so fast. I feel like I did a January favorites or whatever favorites I did last year. I'm really inconsistent with favorites. That is a New Year's resolution. I'm going to do favorites every month. If only for myself to look back at them to rediscover products that I inevitably forget about. So yes, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or comment down below or consider subscribing to my channel. It would really mean a lot to me. And if you do come back, I will see you in my next video. Bye. I have my timer set for 10 minutes. So I guess let's just uh, get started. Ooh, I'm like so nervous. Okay, uh, start.